have before us a Pacifica. A Pacifica, 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 Pacifica. It is a very dirty guitar, a very dirty guitar. And do you know what I think? I actually think that this guitar has never been played. I think it's early 90s, but it's been in storage. And I think it's been in storage. <coughs> That's looking up at the camera on the ceiling and talking at the same time does that. It's still got the plastic on the pickups. So what I'm going to do is just take off. I'm just going to strip it down, clean it and see what it sounds like. But before I do that, let's have a little listen to it. <coughs> if I could stop coughing. Right. Amplifier on. Right, amplifier on. Now, I think I've done this, haven't I? It sounds lovely. It sounds actually very good pickups in these Pacificas. And I definitely recommend them. They're great little guitars. I've asked the owner if he would sell it to me because I haven't got a Strat style copy but I don't think I can afford it. Uh, and if I did buy it, then how would I get the animals any money? But I, I think this is probably worth about 150 quid, maybe 160, because it's in such good condition, even though it's stinking like, even though it's stinking like love, it really is stinking. But I'm gonna start cleaning it up now. Okay, amp off. This could be one of the shortest videos. Well, I certainly hope it is because it's just a matter of cleaning. Unfortunately, the tuners, oh, that string didn't last long, just snapped. And I'm not tightening and I'm loosening it. Unfortunately, the tuners feel a little bit gritty because they've never been used. So that string snapped. The strings are absolutely black. And it's, 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 it's corrosion. I think, I think this guitar was somewhere in storage. I mean, a roost space or something like that there. But the strings are as black as you can possibly think they would be. But let me just take off that. Get off you, get off. This uh, tremolo arm is rusted even though it's never been used but it's been sitting and it's corroded i i it's kind of rusted i don't think i can get off but luckily i have two or three tremble arms that i can uh, replace it with right okay These strings haven't been taken out for a while, but let's just see if you can see what they're like. Look, did you see what kind of a shape they're in? I don't know why you can't see that. Look at black, they're black. They're really black, off like really black. Black or not, Georgie girl is here to sniff them out, aren't you, Georgie girl? Georgie girl loves strings, guitar strings. She, I like to hang up my proper glasses in, all right, okay. Right, okay. There she is eating the guitar string. I don't want you eating the guitar string. Right, okay, come on, guitar string, out you go. That's that one. You're not supposed to be here. Although I like you being here, and you're not supposed to be here. Another one of these where you have to use something to poke out the... And this, is, this one's a bit different though, because the string is so badly corroded. I am going to take the back off, but... Come on, you can come out. Ah, there we go, all right. Go on. Oh, and the, I 
forgot about this one. No, oh, so right, okay. Sorry, Georgie girl. You wanted to have fun with it, didn't you? Hot, sticky night tonight, but cold outside. And I'm feeling the, the stickiness of the heat. Let me just take off the tops. I don't even know whether this is reco worth recording because it's just going to be a cleanup and a replacing of strings and a little demo. But I did put it on the original uh, Four Poxman of Four Four Poxman <laughs> Four Horsemen of Apocalypse video. Uh, I might as well do it. Although, in saying that, I'm hoping that uh, I'm hoping I don't have any surprises. Let me just bring that down and I'm going to take off oh, the satisfaction of taking off the, the plastic. Look at that there. We should do with the drum roll. Ta -da, ta -da. Look at that. There's actually little, what's, what are those little things there? I must look to see. Put on my other glasses as well. Oh, that, what's that there? Little little copper. You can see the copper in the inside. Although one of them is slightly blocked. You you wouldn't be able to see that in the camera. But I think that what it's doing is it's showing the copper coils beneath it. I'm sure there's a good reason for that. Yeah. You can actually see the copper coil. Now you're going to want to see that, aren't you? You're going to want to see that. It's an interesting little feature I haven't seen on pickups before. But if you look at, am I look, am I going to the right? Let me just see. Can you see there at the very end? There's little copper coils showing through. I'm not sure why, but I'll take it. Looks pretty, right? Okay, and I'm going to clean up the body. Let me take some dirt off it first, just with a straw. All right, okay, take off the majority of the dirt. This is a nice guitar, this. A nice guitar. I like Pacificas. I have a Pacifica in the back bedroom, which I'm completely rebuilding. What is it? Oh, look at this here. Look, look at, look at this. Look, would you believe it? Would you believe it? A nice surprise. Look, plastic hasn't even been taken off the, the fret, the, the whole board yet. Okay. Well, if that's the case. You're going to get an unveiling as well. So let me just take off the knobs. I don't need anything beneath them now because the plastic's there. They're protecting the shield. A come on, machine. That's it. And I'm going to need something Will it come off by itself. Ah, no, it won't. And I don't trust it if I have to force myself to do it. So let's just put it, it's not going to happen, I just try not to, I can hear a little cracking going on there and I don't like it, although I have spare knobs. Do you hear that cracking? That might be just rele e releasing itself, I hope. All right, okay. Uh, right, okay, look at that. Unveiling. Look at this. Uh, you know, the, the, the music of the stripper comes to mind. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Look at the difference. And I thought this was a cream board. Can you see? Yeah, you can. Somebody's texting me at the same time. Am I recording? Yeah, I yeah. am. Oh, look at that. No, look at that. Isn't that lovely? This is, this is almost as good as oiling a fretboard. I do like oiling a fretboard because I get a lovely smell from it. 
I think also I like oiling the fretboard because it means you're coming near the end of the guitar. You're coming near to putting the guitar together and getting it back to where it should be and getting it played. Right, look at that there. Look. Right, okay. And I thought I was going to have to scrub at this this uh, scratch guard. Look. Look, 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 look. I'm so happy. I am so happy. Gosh, that, that made the job a lot easier. And sort of reinforces what I said about this guitar never being played. But that doesn't mean anything. Let me just clean the knobs. You know, it's, it's one of those things you just never know if it, it has been played. Right. Great little buy. I bought three of these. These here. And they've been very, very useful. Three little plastic things from eBay or something like that there. And they've been ever so useful. I think they were pennies, you know. Let me just put that back on. Take that off and put the volume so it reads volume towards me. All right, okay. And there's the tone. Let me just clean up the tone the same way. And yes, I'm skating dust onto the guitar, but I don't care because it keeps it onto the camera. But these little knobs are, so I'm actually gonna need a little bit. So a lot of people put them all like that there, but they're supposed to be reading so that the guitarist can look down and see it. But also that it, you see the number 10, which means maximum. So it says volume and tone, but the 10 beside it. Right, okay. And I just need a little bit of cleaner just to do the top of the tone knob. Okay. And the volume knob as well. Now this is rusted. There's rust in there and corrosion. And that's because of lack of use. And the springs are rusted. I, can you see that there's, they're rusted? At the very back there, the little springs, they're rusted. And I can't clean springs. There's no point in trying to even try clean springs. Let me get this right. There we go there. So what I'm going to do is just use a little brush that I showed you earlier, a little brass brush. And I'm going to put some WD-40 because I know this is high gloss. I'm just going to do that all over it. And then the little brass brush, which might clean the, the strings and, and gently clean some of that, that rust off the, off the intonators, string holders. And it also gets down inside, which is nice. So I just told you how much I love these little brushes. And there you are, a good example. Now I'm gonna do screw heads as well. And the cloth just to clean it up. Right, okay. Yeah. Right. Now if you look closely at those springs, Okay, I hope you hopefully you're in focus, but they're, I can't see with these bloody glasses. Three pairs of glasses. Oh, I still can't see. But anyway, if you can see the springs have no rust on them now. All the rust was taken off with that little brass brush. Right. Okay. So it doesn't matter too much too if the uh, WD-40 goes inside. It doesn't matter. Right, so here's my little, I'm just going to give these a little turn, just to give them a turn. This might be a video that goes up completely unedited. Okay, what do you think of that, if it is? Right, now, frets don't need anything but they do need a little bit of a, a polish. And for that, I'm going to use 1500 sandpaper. 
Right, okay, let's just take it on there. Uh, and just go gently, just to bring the thing up and take the, let me just feel the frets. It's a nice fret job, down to about there, it's a nice fret job. Not such a good fret job there, but nobody, nobody will worry about that. It's a nice fret job on that side. Give the frets a bit of a, this is just a polish, nothing else. And I get to do my favorite job tonight. And guess what my favorite job is? Spreading the oil all around, yes. <coughs> Choking, sound like Tim the Tool Man Taylor. <laughs> right, some cleaner on my cloth. Have to clean them and clean the fretboard. Mind you, I don't. I I just can't see any marks at all on the on the frets, which sort of there's not even a, a string damage on the frets of any sort. So if he does decide to sell this. The whoever gets it will have a, a great deal, you know, but, uh, but I don't think he wants to sell it. I think it's his wife, his father was given it and it might have some sentimental value. So there'll be others, there'll be others. That's very nice. It's nice and lovely and shiny to the frets. Have a look. See the frets. Can you see the shininess of the frets? I don't know. You can not Just with 1500 sandpaper. It doesn't take a lot. Now my favourite job. Can you smell that? Lemon oil. And don't touch it with your fingers. Bollocks. I like to rub it in because then I know I'm not just rubbing it off and wasting it on the cloth. I'm, I'm binge watching Absolutely Fabulous with Joanna Lumley and Jennifer Saunders. And it's something I never watched before. Now that it's over, I can binge watch it. And it's so funny. It's outrageously funny. Uh, it's, it's, it's funny too, because they're so cruel to the daughter. And, but that's still funny. And I don't know why it's funny because some of the things they do are very, very inconsiderate and very rude to her. But the girl plays a brilliant part, Anna Swaldia or something like that there. And I particularly like, there's another character called Bubbles. And Bubbles is just complete, a complete moron that dresses in the weirdest clothes. But she's so funny. Right, okay. Now. What I do now, I'm going to check the neck just to see where we were, where we are with it. Right, 50 50 chance that I'm going to get this wrong. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, oh right, okay. I am pleasantly surprised it's got exactly the right amount of underbow. I thought it had a little bit too much whenever I did it the first time. But perhaps the strings made a difference when they were on it, although the strings were quite loose. Okay, time to clean up the head now. And we'll check the... And check the... Tuners. I've already... I haven't cut myself today, so I don't want to either. A little bit of guitar string wrapped around. Uh, right, okay, let's just give it a clean. Where's that cleaner? I've got a little bit of cleaner to the side here. A little bit of cleaner that I just used to clean with on the top. I wonder if I can get away without editing. This is just a straightforward clean. And maybe a bit of oiling. I'm not particularly rushing it, but there's not that much to do. The tuners feel a little bit loose, but let's just see what they're like whenever I finish cleaning them. 
I don't have to work on the truss rod, which is pleasing because they have a little special truss rod there. If you notice, they have a tiny little screw which snaps out the plastic thing. But what usually happens is the plastic thing gets, gets chipped when you're trying to get it out on these guitars. So I would never take them out unless it was really important to do so. Those tuners which felt gritty are cleaning up okay. So there's no rust on them, which is good. Okay. I'm going to turn it round and see what the back's like. Yeah, the back just could be. They yeah, feel okay. They don't, don't feel bad. Actually, this is going to be that way. I've already cleaned the stocks. If you look at this guitar too, you'll see that it's nice and clean now, but also if you look very closely at the end, you'll see it's got the PAC number on it still. They usually fall off. The serial number is there as well somewhere. And the neck is beautiful. It's a lovely guitar all around. Okay, let's, let's clean up the back of the guitar now. Hopefully this is not too boring for you. Hope we can get that cleaned up. Let's just do the back. And the up topper. This is covered in dust up here. I'm beginning to love this guitar because the guitar quality, the, the quality of the the paint job is excellent. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a bit of WD-40 on my cloth when I finished, and just clean that part with WD-40. That's coming up in a beautiful fashion. Let's see if you can get a look at that. Look at that color of red, whatever that is. I don't know what the color that you'd call that. It probably has a name, still has the sticker in the bottom. A beautiful color. Let me just get that way to see if you can see it. Actually gorgeous, love it. Love it. Now let me just get a little bit of, I tell you what, let me, before I do that, let me just finish the sides of the guitar to make sure there's nothing. Uh, just dirt, not a scratch, not a scratch. Actually, I know the owner's going to be watching this, so maybe I should be talking it down. Oh, what a terrible guitar. Shouldn't be, oh, terrible. Shouldn't be. Maybe a, if, it, if I told him it was a terrible guitar, he might sell it for 20 quid. <laughs> He actually offered to give it to me, but I refused because it is worth more than what than I would be doing to it. So let me just clean the jack plug. But if he, you see, if he did give it to me, then I'd have to pay a CC something, and that wouldn't be fair. No, if it's worth 150, 160 pounds, I think he could get it somewhere. He could get that money. But as I say, I think it's a sentimental value. I don't think I need to do this, but I'm doing it anyway. Right, okay. I do see some brown brush coming out with it, so it doesn't do any harm to do it. Right. Okay. Right. Now, what I do, just give the front. There's no point in trying to over polish the front because I've still got some work to do to it. So, right, I'm going to turn it around. Give it a little bit of WD-40 polish to that. Okay. Spray WD. Right, okay, thank you, WD-40. Thank you. And just rub it in. And that might stop any of the little, there's been tiny little pits put in the chrome by being sitting for too long and that oil that WD-40 will just go into it and maybe delay any further uh, disturbance to the chrome layer. Right, okay. So the next thing to do, and, and as I said, I told you at the very start, there's very little to do to this guitar. I'm going to string it up. Let's stop talking about it and let's do it. I'm going to string it up and tune it. Let me just see, pull out here. Right, string it up, tune it, set the intonators. If this iPhone will last that long. 
and see what happens. Right, okay. Just give it a clean. Okay, strings. Take these strings from my heart. Elixirs, nines. Uh, I'm running out of strings, so I'm going to have to put an appeal on for people to donate strings to me. There's, there's been strings that uh, people have offered to pay for, but, you know, it's just nice to... None of the people that I do these things for are rich, you know. So it's just nice to pass it back. And they do give a donation to a CC. So the cost of the strings can be my contribution to a CC. Right, come on, nines. Come on. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can really move from your head right down to your blue suede shoes. Well, you're there, okay. Just doesn't want to go through. I just... I don't think the intonation's set correctly on this anyway by the look of it. You can generally speak sometimes with a, a nice guitar that the intonation is off by the, 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 the settings on the uh, the intonators, but we'll see. Right, come on. Why do you not want to go through it? Can I see through you? Yes, I can see through you. I'm looking through you. You're not the same. I thought I knew you. You're not to blame. Beatles, come on boys, why are you not coming through? There's always one. Come on, why are you not coming? Ah, at last. Nines are very, very hard to see, nines. An 11. Hmm. Anybody out there doesn't like the Beatles? It's funny how their songs can generally last the test of time. And this young fella today was even at my door talking about the Beatles and how he loved their old songs coming back. And he wasn't, he'd barely out of his 20s, you know. But why is it? Why is it there? Jo Paul John said there were some songs that he wished he hadn't written in the early days of the Beatles. I don't want to know what those were because I liked all the songs of the Beatles. Yes, there were some that were better than others. So I'm glad he didn't. Well, maybe he did somewhere tell people what they were. I don't want to know. Uh, John Lennon was not a nice person. And Paul McCartney is not a nice person. Paul McCartney is less of a nice person than what you can imagine. But his music is astounding. And it still is to this day. But John, George Harrison and Ringo are probably the only decent two human beings there. But I'm saying no more. The people out there probably love Paul McCartney. Love his songs. Absolutely adore his songs. But as a human being, he rank he stinks. He's so false. But anyway, my rant about Paul McCartney is over. Mind you, I did I did almost work with Paul McCartney over a song contest that I was running in Northern Ireland. I think I mentioned that. There was a possibility of running a song contest in Northern Ireland and Ray Davies was going to get Paul McCartney to get involved. But uh, our local council, being the dicks that they are, refused to help or get interested. Even They weren't even interested. Even though I dropped a few names, but they weren't interested. So, But they're typical politicians. Right, okay, you go over there. I usually do that. I usually put that on because Georgie girl's sniffing around. But at the moment she's not sniffing around. This is just running. This is just running one continuous stream of thought. I just hope that I have enough space on the iPhone. 
start. Okay. I think I might have to move a little bit quicker. See what I do, what I do is I bring it out to about there with my hand holding it one way, making sure it's tight. And that, also, that always gives me the right number of turns by the time I've turned it. Maybe if this, the strings are awkward, or the guitar is awkward, I might put another couple of turns on it. But whenever you pull it out to there, I'll show you it again in a second. It usually gives you the right number of turns and it's nice and neat. Right, okay, there is the pain. Hello, pain in the butt. You. 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 Right, okay. So all I do is make sure this up, bring it out to about there where, where the edge of the fretboard is, and then give it a turn. And generally speaking, my finger keeps the tension on it, and it, it turns in quite nicely. Okay. No, Georgie girl, you're not interested in strings tonight? She has her friend with her shrimpy. Uh, she's a girl and he's a boy and for the first three days of their introduction they hissed at each other and hid from each other uh, they were terrible we thought no it's not working it's not working it's not working yeah but uh, eventually realized that the hissing and all that was just them sort of saying what's your name what's my this is my name what's your name and then they would start play fighting, never hissing each other when they were play fighting. And now they are the, really the best of friends. There's a little thing there at the neck. I don't know where you can see it. There's a little gap at the top between the, the nut and the fretboard. I'm not tempted to do anything about it because it, it's, it's, I don't know what it is, but it's not affecting the playing the guitar. Right, okay. Right, finger, three, twist. Of course, not everybody tunes their guitar. Most people tune their guitar a much different way than this. I'm sit, uh, my, my guitars are all being tuned on a bench. So it's easy for me to say, put your finger out there and let it side. But a lot of people uh, put their strings on while sitting, the guitar is sitting on their knee or leaning up against something. So, you know, if you've got a guitar on the bench, this is an easy way that I found to do it. It doesn't have to be the way that you do it, right? I'll let a little bit more out because these are nines and nines are a little bit thinner and I like a little bit more turning at the top. You can see I'm getting about six or seven turns on it. Right, okay. And then onto the tree. Okay, and last one. What are we doing for recording so far? I found that when I'm recording, it's better instead of cutting out the bits that are boring, just speeding them up because people don't need to see you on doing screws or doing sandpaper of an neck, you know. And so I find that just speeding it up is good enough because then people know that you've actually done it. But I usually ramble away while I'm doing it, but there's nothing there that's terribly exciting to understand about rambling. Right, okay, let me look at the string height. Very nice string height. Right, let's get it tuned. Let's get it intonated while we're still running. Right. Uh, yo, I didn't think I'd get it as far this tonight. Right. Nice pickups, nice pickups. And where's the tuner? Right, the tuner is an iPhone 4, as I've said several times, and the app I use is a Pano tuner. And I, I know that it's not plugged in, so let me just plug it in so it doesn't run out of battery in the middle of it. It's an old iPhone. Right, I tell you, for this experiment, let's just bring it down again. And then you can see the, the tuner. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll tune it and intonate it. And uh, you can see what I do, tuning and intonating it more closely. And I think you probably, I don't know, can you see that? Let me just see if you can see that. Let me just see. 
Maybe with a reflection of it, you can see it a bit better. But anyway. Oh, God, look at that. An E. E. How good is that? Let me stretch it. Holding down on the 12th. Pulling up. That it made. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven half tones of a difference by stringing it. By pulling it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's an A. Perfect A. I don't know whether you can see it or not, but let me do the pull. No, it's only taking it down by a half tone. strings if they're wound. If your G string's wound, you have to pull it as well. Taking it down a half tone again. Semitone, half, no, quarter tone. Maybe the string coming up or jumping up through the wasn't quite into the notch. A. Let's look at the intonation now. We're still recording here, yeah. A. Perfect A. Slightly sharp. Still slightly sharp. Surprising about that. Perfect. 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 Sharp. Sharp. 
beautiful. D. Imagine tuning that to a, a G. My head must have been somewhere else. Ooh, I love it. Perfect. G. Beautiful, I even like it more. Ooh, I love this. Slightly, slightly flat. Let me. Right, okay. Beautiful. Right, okay. Now I'll set the pickup heights. screw. <laughs> you know it's quite late at night. What time is it? Oh, it's quarter past, past twelve. So forgive me if it's if it's me, it's my brain not working very well. Let me just try the height again. Right, that's fine. Right, uh, do the tuning again. take wonder so let's just check the tuning Press the button now. Is there anything else I need to do before I switch off the camera with this one take wonder? Oh yes, I have to do the strings. Right, you can go away. Right, and I have to do the strings. And I end up I'll probably find up end up cutting this. I don't do my little curly string thing with the uh, tuners that have locking tuners on them because you don't need to my little curly thing is uh, harder to do on nines than it is to do on tens because the nine string doesn't like to bend too much so that's that was all cut off put in a bend out of georgie girl's arm and then little pair of I've left it plugged in eh well that's the way it is that's the way of life I 
Now this is a boring video. And I'm so tempted not to put up these boring videos, but some people like them. But they are boring, they are quite boring. This is just a standard setup and clean. There's nothing exciting about this. There's nothing exciting about this guitar. So do tell me, if these are boring, I'll stop putting them up. There you go. Okay, that's it. Goodbye guitar. Just have a final look at it to see if there's any. Oh, I need to at least have a final clean. Although I'll have another final clean before it goes. <laughs> Okay, that's it. Say goodbye to the guitar. Goodbye Pacifica. If you ever get a chance to buy one of these, I think you should. They're very good guitars.